Your command. So, okay, we're starting with a psychic onslaught on this guy. Oh, that blew up a little bit more than I thought it was going to blow up. <laughs> Can you even hit him now? No, we can't. You can't. We're not going to be able to stun him now. We're not going to be able to stun him. That, I mean, I don't even mind. That's very funny to me. Um, okay. This guy. Let's kill him. Simply. Cyber also finish him. We'll get the willpower back, so that's fine. There we go. Ammo depleted, which is a pity, but... We got him. That's fine. Uh, okay, so you can move and then shoot, but I'm worried about that guy being a bit of a pain. I don't think it's too big of a problem. Yeah, I really didn't think that would have the knockback effect. Um, at least I didn't think it would knock him back like that way. I mean, he didn't move that way. He moved like, did he bounce off this? Because this blew up separate. I don't know. It's very weird. I feel like we did damage to that guy we shouldn't have done damage to. Uh, so I can move there and shoot him one more time, but he'll still have some stun. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I can... Oh, no, I can't even move there and shoot him. I was hoping to have cover from that guy. Though I guess he is... Oh, mm. Million decisions to make. A million and one. He's not going to have much health. I will be able to finish him off. In melee. From there. Which is good. Although, Rathaman has all of the ammo. Uh, also, getting over here to Overwatch might be nice. I don't think we can get over there successfully enough. He really just can't... Oh, wrong guy. There's that guy. So yeah, he has to go, like, all the way around. Yeah, over there and have one Overwatch that way, which I don't think we need. Uh, as well, because she can't really get shot from this side. They have to come around. So as long as I can overwatch this space from here, like, these guys can't really do anything to it. So that's nice. Yeah, so I can come over here and stab him and then finish him off with a gun. Ooh, he could parry, though. Oh, that's cheeky. That's cheeky if he parries. Um... Yeah, he might parry. Yes, me. This is why stunning him would have been really nice. I have a disruptor servo skull, so I could use that. I could actually use that to disrupt him, so he can't parry, which would be quite useful. I really just don't want to be in range of this guy, though. I don't think I will be. If I am, sod it. I'll be in range of him. That's fine. The enemy okay, good. is wounded. Now let's get over here and stab him. I... Oh, I really am going to have to disrupt him, aren't I? Is that the clutch move that I want? Oh, also, I can't use it because he's already shot. So never mind. I guess we're just going to stab him and hope for the best. Oh, it's first strike, not parry. That's fine. Go on, it's your turn. I think it's quite sweet that we let him go first. Not his dying wish. Alright, we'll set this up because we can. And for uh, our Justicar Iolanthus, I mean, I could move there and Overwatch. Or I could just Overwatch here. Do I need to Overwatch at all? Hard to say. I uh, kind of want to start beating people to death with a hammer, but we can't always get what we want, guys. We can't always get what we want. Let's move here. If anything happens to run this way, we'll shoot him, but they probably won't run this way. We'll see. Okay, enemies. Come on. Yeah, he's wandering off. That's fine. He can keep doing that forever. He's never going to be a big problem. Alright. That's fine, too. Except more will be spawning. More will be spawning. As they keep going and doing. Uh, so yeah, only five more turns though to survive, which isn't too, too bad. That is not too, too bad. I think we can handle it. Uh, do I want to shoot this now? That would destroy all their cover and knock them flying a bit, which would slow them down? At the very least? Do I want to slow them down? Um, so, okay, the place has uh, sorted itself out a bit. 
So if I move here, I can set up a nice overwatch. Not a nice one, but like an overwatch. Moving here might be good, actually. The amount of armor we've got means I don't think we have to care. Yeah, look at that. That's very nice. That's a very nice overwatch. So if we can do that, we're going to blow up that cover, which means they'll try and move closer to more cover where they can actually do something, or they'll end up shooting us at such, like, long range that it won't matter anyway. You know? So it's sort of perfect. Unless that's still cut, they're still behind cover, and that's apparently totally fine. Well, fine. Be that way. Jerks. Uh, so yep, we're going to set this up. And that'll do. And then you... I mean, this guy is nothing. There's just nothing going on over there. Um, I can't quite reach them. I'll have to move forwards a bit. Let's try just moving forward the minimum amount. How are we doing on ammo? We have two, which is all of it. Uh, that's all of our ammo, but that might kill one of the things that comes out of that portal. Maybe. A bit hard to say, honestly. Um, but I might be able to get some more damage if I come over here with the Purgator. How are we doing for ammo? Two out of five. Not great. It's not great. I might be better off just knowing that I'm in position now and reload instead. Yeah, I got a good shot on them. Once they've settled somewhere out of the portal. Alright, someone's got a free Aegis shield. Good. That guy's dead. Love her overwatches. I mean, these guys are just going to be a bit, whatever, you know, ineffectively shooting at us. They got drained on their missile attacks. That's actually incredibly deadly. I didn't realize they had drained on their ranged attacks. That really sucks. Don't tell me you got it too. He's got it too. Oh my god. That's horrible. Hang on, that wasn't a warp surge thing, was it? Did I miss a warp surge? I might have done. Might have done. I did get a text. I didn't think I missed anything though. So it'd be right for sneakily trying to have a life outside of. Ah, oh, yeah, they got away. Yeah, don't don't have a life outside of. Uh, outside of recording, guys. Ooh. Oh no, they'll probably end up the other side of the wall, in which case I don't care. Let's be honest. That's that's just how they do it. Uh, so Psychic Onslaught, we'll kill him. We still have plenty of willpower left, and we can get some damage into him. It'll get rid of his um, armor, at least, so I think the other guy should be able to finish him off. You know, whichever Iolanthus or Gar we have over there. So that goes one. And, uh, oh, actually, we did reload last turn, didn't we? Can we do any damage? We can do some damage. We shoot him a couple more times so we can get the execution. God, I love having extra stun on a weapon. Because I just never got any stuns. I was just never getting any. Wow, what a floppy boy. Uh, so, yeah, I was just never getting any stuns before. Never. Now I'm getting it all the time. It's amazing. I <laughs> just hear him stomping about off screen. Terminator armor. So, so chunky. Oh, come on, shipping container. That would have been cool to see. Alright, we're going to have to reload. But once we do... Right, good. Okay, that'll do. Uh, so remember these guys, uh, if they move... Or if they um, shoot or anything, then, then they'll trigger an overwatch, so... I'm hoping that that will do the job, because their range, if they just try and shoot me, they won't kill me. They won't do enough damage. They might get the drained though, which is a bit annoying. Um, so I'm also tempted just to use an Aegis shield and get a shot in there. Uh, Carl Cybolt, I have no bloody willpower, but I've got a pretty good chance to crit, and I might be able to shoot his ranged weapon off. Well, 40% chance to shoot his ranged weapon off, so I'm going to use the Aegis. Okay, and then I'm going to shoot. Which, for some reason, it's... Okay, it is saying that he's going to... It is saying that he's going to overwatch, but it's not showing me my damage, which is kind of annoying. But drained again. Even on their overwatches, it does drain. 
So that guy might actually get stunned as well. Alright, we can shoot him one more time. Come on, get the precision targeting. Look, we're almost about to stun him. We could have just shot him with that guy and executed him. Here we go, stun plus one. We could actually... I'm just going to disable his ranged weapon. Yeah, good luck surviving the next round, mate. You're going to run into that overwatch. Like a chump. Like a big old chump. Also, I guess I should move closer to this guy? Or these guys? I, mean, I think they're probably going to spawn back here because this game is really silly uh, on these maps for some reason. Uh, let's probably get him close to the center just so we can figure out where we want to put him. Um, Rathaman Ayalantus. I guess can... You know, I don't know what, actually. I actually have no idea. Could give someone some willpower, but I'm not sure I want to do that. I could do extra crit. I could do the extra... Um, AP when executing a target, but I'm not sure we're going to execute anyone again in a sec, you know, for a while, so... You know what I should have done? I should have actually done that litany and had that guy... Oh, no, he can't. He has no willpower. And so I could have done honor the chapter on him. But I couldn't. So that would have been a fib. And I wouldn't have wanted to have fibbed. Fibbing is bad. I uh, don't know what he's doing. Oh, he healed up! Cheeky git. Well, he didn't heal up so much. Alright, this guy still exists. I'd forgotten about him. I just thought he'd be making a mess in the corner. Best you just stay away from them. Oh, oh, and now it summons them where the portal is instead of behind a wall. Cheeky. It's alright. Psychic Onslaught will do a lot of work to them. Alright, against mutations. Attacks have drained. I hate drained. It's rubbish. And of course more reinforcements coming from over there. That's okay. We have oh no ammo. Alright, you have to reload. Uh and can we just shoot this guy? I mean if I shoot him he will he'll get stunned. Yes, Commander. Which means that Iolanthus can go and get the crit. Which means these guys can mop up over here. So this works rather well. So uh you have two ammo though. You have plenty. Okay, you have no ammo. See, if I if I hit him, he's going to end up further away and have to chase him. <laughs> that should be very annoying. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna shoot him. All right. Then he's gonna he's gonna fall down. And amazing, I'm getting stuns here as well now, even without bonus stuns. I really have no idea what's up with that. Uh, I feel like stuns are just easier now. It could have been a patch. I know there was something addressed, but I'm pretty sure they made it so it scales. Oh, maybe I misread that. So there was there was a patch note that said that uh, the amount of st like the stun meter would scale with difficulty. I thought that meant that there would actually be a higher number than there is currently on like legendary mode or something. I think what's actually happened is that we were playing normal mode with the amount that was on legendary mode. And so they've decreased the stun meter on lower difficulties. So it could literally be that they make it easy to stun now. I know the two stun purgator weapon is brilliant. You know, that's obviously doing a lot of work, but still. Anyway, now we're going to use Litany of Hate so we can get the extra AP from an execution. Which means this guy will actually be reimbursed his AP and then some from this turn, which is very nice. And then Iolanthus, go bludgeon this boy. That's right. Execution, please. Oh, yeah, that definitely got him. Yeah, that was definitely a kill. So now we have three AP for him. Three AP for him. Four for him, even though he didn't do anything. I feel like this litany doesn't work. Is it only when he... Does litany of hate only affect him when he gets that? Maybe? Let's have a look. Status, nothing. Status, nothing. Okay, so the litany isn't even telling... Okay, that's weird. Does it not activate until next turn or something? Is litany of hate just... No, he's got it. Look, he has an auto. Three times per turn. When you execute target, they gain one AP. Well, you gain one AP anyway. Oh, I see. No, I get it now. So the person who gets the execution gets the extra AP. Everybody else gains the standard one AP. So that's how that's done. I might run over here and grab this thing. Screw it. Good one be done. Don't worry about everyone fighting. We're doing great. 
Ooh, some blue. Marvellous. Okay, now let's deal with these guys, maybe? Probably a good idea, isn't it? Probably. Uh, we could just start stabbing him. Could start stabbing him. I do have a lot of willpower and very high crit chance. We came with one crit, we can kill him easily with a second hit, so let's try that. And we did get the crit. Oh, actually, I could just kill him in one hit if I armor pierce. Being able to kill a Plague Marine in a single hit is very satisfying. Uh, I'm going to force strike here as well then, because we got the willpower back from the last attack. Nice. Uh, to save his ranged weapon, I mean his other weapon is still very scary, so I'm not sure I want to really tackle that either. Um, now I'm thinking I should have waited. I should have shot him a couple times. I might have actually got him stunned. Um, Alright, let's weaken his melee. Let's weaken his melee attack, so if he does try and melee before running away, then... You know. Although the enemy can just stand there and shoot us, which is kind of frustrating. Okay, you can't... Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, fella. What are you doing over there? Cheeky git. And, Darek, why can't you... Why can't you psych you have no ammo? Okay. Yeah, you need two ammo. It's a psychic onslaught. Oop. That's not quite going to kill him. Can you just shoot him, though? No, we can't. We can't just shoot him. Oh, full cover. Psychic onslaught ignores the cover, though. I mean, I can psychic onslaught him twice this turn. That seems a bit much, My though. Um, I really want him just to overwatch this area to get rid of these guys, but maybe, maybe I should try and do something else. Um, I'm not sure. It would have been easy if I had another guy, but instead he ran off to go get seeds. What an idiot. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We're going to Psychic Onslaught. Probably twice. Good lad. Um, but yeah, we have we have willpower. We're fine. You know, it'll be fine. See them fall, brothers. Good. Now I can reload because he got. I think he got an extra AP back from that. That's always good. So there you go. You're all set. And now this guy with his many AP. Unfortunately, this isn't quite the right spot for him. Um, if they do happen to walk through here, then yeah, he'll do a bunch of damage, but I just don't feel like they're going to. So I'm going to walk over here with 2 AP, and then I'll be close enough just to bludgeon a bunch of people to death if, they, um, if they're nearby. Okay, he's going to wander off. Yeah, these guys are the worst. They're just very bad at their jobs. Alright, what do we got? Ah, uh, three Plague Marines. Oh, he didn't have the ammo! Whoops. Should have reloaded him. It's alright, I'm feeling quite comfortable at this point. I am feeling rather comfortable. I don't feel like there's a lot going on. Alright, so I could provoke them all. Is that something I'd want to do? Maybe. I've only got the Plague Knife. That's disrupt, though. Um... I mean, I need to reload to get the overwatch going. But, if I provoke, this guy could get an overwatch on us as well. I only have one ammo. It's good, because we'll only be able to shoot once anyway if we go over here. And yes, this guy I'm still ignoring. He's bad at his job. So we're going to go here so we can cover him. He's got so much armor, I don't even care if they just shoot instead. It actually doesn't bother me. So let's provoke them. Let's get them closer. Uh, I could warp charge, they attack each other, but usually when I do that, they behave really stupidly. I, I don't know what it is. They just, so they sometimes just go, you know what, I'm just going to shoot that guy instead. And they'll just behave as normal. It's almost like this does nothing. Like, really, like, crazed is really unreliable. It's really bizarre. Um, I've played about with it, like, in my own time as well. And just sometimes they seem to just, just act completely as normal. Which is weird. So it just makes it very odd. Makes it very odd indeed. Also, enraged, it's a bit more predictable, but still a bit weird in the fact that they will shoot you if they can't melee you, which I think 
That doesn't sound like enraged to me. If they've decided I'm going to, you know, I'm so angry at that guy, I'm just going to stab him to death. Then I don't think they go, you know what, but I can't reach him in the next six seconds, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to shoot him now, actually. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It doesn't seem to fit the description. So, I don't know. It's a weird one. Uh, yeah, you need to reload. You need to reload, little fella. There you go. That'll do. So he's probably going to get stabbed, but I don't think it'll matter. I don't think it'll matter. And we also have this guy, um, who has plenty of ammo. Oh, <laughs> but not the range. As you will. Okay, good. Now let's see how this goes. Feels a bit clumsy, but that's okay. Uh, now, Iolanthus, you're the only one back here defending Vakir, but that's okay, because we only need two more turns. So, actually... I'd say we're doing fine. All right, open this door. <laughs> the Space Marine way. <laughs> it makes me wonder, do they just think these are flimsy bits of wall? They just think, this wall is very flimsy. I have no idea. Uh, so you have no ammo, so you can, you can reload that. You know, sanctify your rounds or whatever. Whatever it is you do. All right, he's dead. All right, how about you? Oh, he got stunned. I'm not sure that matters. Does he stay stunned on our turn, or does he get come back up? Uh, and, okay. Why? The enemy wins. See what I mean? He could have attacked us. That's it. My ritual is near complete. Hold them back just a bit longer, brother knights. Just a bit longer, and we've won. Ah, the warp surge. Alright, what's the warp surge going to do? Uh, oh, psychic abilities cost, pl cost plus one willpower for those three turns. So basically for the rest of this... The rest of this mission. That's okay, we are kind of crushing it. Also, we can uh, can use a stratum skin, right? So we have extra will uh, extra AP to spend as well. And it looks like we're going to have even more AP. Thanks to this, so that's absolutely perfect. Um, so yeah, you assassinate this guy. Well, execute him, rather. Marvellous. Done. And, um... Yeah, that guy's got quite a lot of health. You want to shoot him a bit, maybe. You want to shoot him a bit. I could actually stun him if I shoot him twice. We might accidentally kill him, though. That's the problem. <laughs> I hate to accidentally kill him. Alright, and now... You can, uh, yeah, hit him twice, I guess. So we just hit him with our free AP, and now we're going to execute him with another one. We still, yeah, we still have three out of three AP. Now we'll be on four out of three, I believe. Yeah, four out of three. Everyone else is on five out of three. Well, everyone hasn't acted yet. So I guess I can start blatting these guys around. Is that even going to work? We have three AP left when I hit it the first time, which is pretty impressive. If I knock one person into another, does anything happen? I actually have no idea. This is going to cost all of our willpower, unfortunately. But it's extra four damage, which means I can probably kill this guy this turn. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Maybe. First, you can... Yeah, you have enough willpower to get him with the old flubity do. So, yeah, I'm going to hit with a Psychic Onslaught to, to get the extra stuns on them. And then I'm going to run in like an absolute lunatic. So let's start with that. Okay. He's going to mutate someone, isn't he? Nope. Alright, let's start force striking. Bam. We're just playing Leapfrog, which is perfect, because they look kind of like frogs. You know, if they've gone real wrong. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> he parried. He's protecting his boy. I mean, not for the longest time. And we just got more AP back. We just got more AP back. Oh, 
Oh, just knocking him around. Okay, you're gonna get a crit. Come on, 50% chance to get the kill. Oh my god, we got it. We got it. We got the kill. Uh, or did we? I think I'll have one health left, actually. Oh, that's disappointing. I'll have one health left. What do you want to get rid of? Uh... Nurgle's gift? That's what the mutates people. Stream of corruption. You know, I have no idea. I guess we'll get rid of that. So, yep, he's still alive. Can we reach him? I'll have two AP left if I come over here, so I can't actually finish him. I'll just shoot him. It's a shame. Honestly. It's a pity that we've had to chase him all the way down here. We wouldn't have had to, but um, Iolanta's got a bit carried away. Playing billiards with... Am I going to say... Yeah, you know what? I try... I. He doesn't have... He doesn't have the ammo. That's very funny. Um, yeah, billiards with bastards is what I'm calling this. This new game. I try and be family friendly, but I think I think the you know it's a it's a twelve A. All right, this channel is a twelve A. So you have some ammo. So let's see, can you you know ah oh, you can't you can't you might be able to Overwatch from here though. We'll see. But yeah, Iolanthus really just getting carried away with that hammer. I'm amazed that guy survived. Just straight up amazed. So uh, we won anyway. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the, the the thing is about to collapse. You know, the crown, the gate. Auto resurrect, cheeky. Oh, look at that, he's hobbling me. I mean I'd want to hobble him too. The guy running after me, like a lunatic with a hammer for weeks on end. Yeah, I'd I'd try and hobble him. There we go. No. We all have one unbreakable shield against the coming darkness. Hey, eh, Hector? See what I mean about inconsistent? Like, she's even given credit at the end. And she says, no, you know, we all did this. Which I think is like, that shows a great deal of humility, even though she's been like a total dick the whole time. Like, every time you try and order her, she's like, oh, I'm busy, shut up. <laughs> but then, like, she's having a freak out at the start of the episode. Like, it, it feels very inconsistent when she's actually on a mission, which I think is very sad. I don't know quite what happened there. Um, but yeah, it just, it feels like she's multiple different people. I don't know if we'll find out this is like Moon Knight or something, uh, that she's got some kind of schizophrenia. I, sorry, guys, I spoiled episode one. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel consistent, her character. Which is a shame. You can basically just decide that she's whatever the hell you want her to be like, and then just ignore every other personality trait she's exhibiting, because then, yeah, it, it's bizarre. It's very bizarre. So I kind of ignore, I think the best thing to do is ignore how she acts in a mission, and just take on board what she says on board the ship. I think that's probably the best way to actually understand like what she's about because currently she's all over the place and I don't think that's supposed to be insanity I think it might just be writing changed and you know voice actors are expensive I really have no idea hey gang and also Vakir. And also Vakir, there we go. <laughs> wow, we got 13 blue and four yellow. That's really good. And yeah, we got all of the requisition as well, which is nice. Um, and we load corruption a ton. So let's see what we got. So I may even get some Terminator armor because like our Terminator armor is just rubbish. Immune to drained is really handy. Hang on, what's this? Unguents of war, 50% resistance to prevent afflictions. That does also sound incredibly useful. Uh, we've got a Purgator. Rank 7 is amazing to get a rank 7 Purgator. Silver Bolt. We can just put up to 6 damage as standard. Uh, and then 7 if you spend a willpower. Extra crit damage. That's fine. I mean, that's a very high damaging weapon. But uh, I feel like that's not as good as what we've currently got. Light Singer. 5 damage. Uh, first Strike. 75% chance to First Strike instead of the 
25 or 50, I forget. It's not 75% normally, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, you can do it twice per turn. So that's pretty good. If you give that to someone who has provoke, someone runs up to you, you stab them. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Especially if we put up their focus with something. Um, I might give this to one of our chaplains. And yeah, the Terminator armor, we could put that up to five armor. Oh, no, only three armor per standard, uh, standard actually. Um, extra four willpower is certainly useful. The extra health is nice. And immune to drained is pretty handy. So extra willpower, we don't have to be afraid of losing it. That's not bad. But we can still do better. We're just not getting offered the best armor, I feel. And yeah, Unguents of War, I feel, is incredibly useful. But... As like a, it's only 50%, which means it'll only negate half of the things that could afflict us, and that means that we've allowed the enemy to attack us in the first place, so, like, I, I don't know, I prefer something that lets us, like, up our crit chance or something, just lets us clear out rooms of people before they get a chance to give us any weird afflictions. You know, that feels like, um, preparing for failure, and I like to increase my odds of success, rather than preparing for failure, you know. I know, there's arguments to be made that that's the same thing, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, yeah, there's some nice stuff here. I think I think I will get, uh, I think I will get this armor anyway, and I think I'm actually going to get this Purgator, um, just on the off chance that we need another one, because a rank 7 character is sort of insane. This will use all of our requisition, but we're getting a bunch each turn anyway. So, we'll just grab some new toys. If we use them, we use them. If we don't bother, then that's also fine. I don't really mind. Okay, it looks like everyone is good. Nobody leveled up, which is very sad, considering that we killed, like, a million dudes. But hey, we did great. I'm very happy with how our team did. Uh, we also have uh, four servitors now. How many do we need to, like, get anything done? Eight, maybe? Is eight the cheapest? Yeah, eight is the cheapest upgrade we have. A lot of things take eight, actually. So that's interesting. Um, but really, I want to get a big windfall of servitors so I can upgrade the last reactor. Because that would really help. <laughs> we never upgraded our research. We still haven't done this. 48 days to build that, though. Why so long? That is such a long time. That's crazy. Yeah, look, rank three upgrade here would, would take 48 days. Yeah, bizarre how long that research speed takes. It would be nice to have the extra research speed, but we're getting so many grimoires. But, like, we've already got very fast research. Although it would be nice to speed it up a bit so we can get a bunch of this stuff done. So maybe I will do that. Screw it, I think we will. I think we'll upgrade our research. Alright, so I would like to deal with him, but I think we're actually... Yeah, I think, I think we're going to go destroy the second Reaper. Wow. Hang on. So how many more turns have we got to do that research? 24 days. How many days was it? 20 when we started it. And then we upset, upset Vakir, so we went up to what, 28? It's been four days since we did the Reaper research. We're about to kill the Reaper. That might take, what, another four to get there? Crazy. Okay, we're on the move. I, yeah, I will probably need to fight that guy. We've got five out of five hull integrity, so I'll probably attack him. This Reaper tends to the Tentara strain. The Codex calls it Munificus the Undying. Undying? We shall have to put that title to the test. <laughs> you sound almost eager, Ektar. I like this new tinge of bloodlust. It makes you sound almost... Human. What? Is that so terrible a thing to contemplate? My augmented genetics are a gift from the Emperor. Were I raised a simple human? Oh, simple, am I? I should have known where my natural genetics would rank me in your esteem. You accuse me of intolerance? That's plenty ripe coming from you. Intervention. The Astartes and the Inquisition both exist to serve humanity. You are quite right, Dominus. Inquisitor, you have my apologies. 
The chapter's training is singularly pragmatic. If I came off crudely, I regret it. No, the fault is mine. Compared to the endless scheming and bootlicking of the administratum, your unfailing bluntness is refreshing. Let us move forward, united, and destroy this Reaper. See what I mean? Like, uh, actual human conversation. <laughs> like, it's not completely, like, crazy. Yeah, I don't know. For Kier, she's very um, all over the shop. Uh, but here, she seems in keeping with, like, other conversations she's had. Like, these guys have different approaches. All three of them do. But they each understand each other's roles, which I think is really fun. Like, it's a really cool dynamic. Because so many of these games will literally just have, you know, oh, well, one person's space marine, that was, that was an inquisitor, so they have different approaches, therefore, one of them is going to be the villain of the other by the end of this. You know, that's always the case. Which I'm not ruling out. You know, Vakir is definitely... Definitely some wear and tear on her from uh, doing the, um, you know, the, the playing around with the toxic, toxificus malefactor or whatever. The, you know, the the book, the evil book. The evil book is giving her the evils, but like, still. Um, yeah, there's actual conversation, which I really like. But hey, this guy looks horrible. He looks like an absolute nightmare beast. And um, he's, he's almost got like tyranid pieces sticking out of him. It's pretty cool. I really like it. Really uh, scary chaos spawn. And also, this triggered before we fought him instead of after, like the previous mission. So that's very fun. So, uh, Munificus the Undying, the Reaper of the Tentara Strain, has been found below. It is said that Nurgle granted him the gift of eternal growth. Let us put that legend to the test, shall we? So, do you think he's going to, like, replenish health each turn or something? We're going to get a bunch of requisition. Chance to get a very nice silencer, maybe. Again, only tier 2 armor, which is annoying. Uh, rank 4 Interceptor. We'd like another Interceptor. We haven't used our Interceptor in a while. Some tier 3 Falchions might be good too. Some good stuff. Definitely some good stuff. And no bonus mission. It'll just be do the, do the thing. That's it. Just do the thing. So we do have a Prognosticar here. Which is fun. So we can heal everybody. Which is nice. I like that. And also extra AP and the Teleport is brilliant. I mean this is all perfect. Um, and this this squad is perfect. The synergy we've had with these guys has been incredible. So I'm not sure I want to mess that up. I'm not sure I want to mess that up. I think Chaplin Perg to Justicar Librarian is pretty amazing. Um, Han would be really nice. I'd love to have Han here. But I'm really struggling to know who to get rid of for a mad doctor. I feel like we should. Um, should we get rid of the Librarian? I think we'll get rid of the Librarian because we can give the, uh, the same ridiculous Overwatch gun to Han right? So I think that would work out quite well. We can't then just give people a bunch of armor, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I think we're going to swap out um, Gar. For where are you, buddy? Han. There we go. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. I'm Han. All right, I'll leave. It's near the end of the episode anyway, so you'll never see me again. Uh, right, so what should we give him? Should we give him the new one? For the extra willpower? I feel like we gave him... Yeah, we had him on this one before, which gave him extra willpower and armor. This one is actually very similar, except um, instead of him increasing warp... Well, not um, increasing warp surges, he just won't get drained. I think this is good. I think this is good. It's very similar. It is very similar. So we can definitely afford to do that. We have no red level. So yeah, more armor. Lovely. Oh, it's only been plus three, which isn't quite as good as the other one. But that's okay. And then, yeah, this is green, so of course we can do it. So yeah, that's all right. Scholar's Acuity. And he is a scholar. He is absolutely a scholar. Yes, absolutely. And then, of course, we have the extra crit chance, which is hysterically funny to me. Look at that, plus five crit damage. He's a doctor. And the Extractor Servo Skull. Do we need that? Do we need that? We haven't used the Hailer uh, Skull yet, which I think might be good. I think it might be quite a fun one. Because it's not just like, I know Enraging is like unreliable as hell, but it's a lot more reliable when you just have like a random skull with hit points in the middle of an area, because the enemy love to shoot at that. If they're not gonna shoot at each other, you know, they'll, they'll try and destroy uh, this. Like, pretty... Yeah. Pretty consistently. Um, but I would like to make sure I get enough seeds. So who... 
Uh, the perk just got the disruptor one, which might be useful in the boss fight, because the boss might have an auto, that's going to be a big problem. And this skull, that is an extractor one. In that case, in that case, I will swap this out for bait. So we're going to do the Haler skull here. Which will have four ammunition. I can use this for free every turn, and it gives the enemy an extra 20 hit points to have to cut through. And enrages stuff. This is cheating. This is cheating. I love it. <laughs> so, range weapon, Storm Bolter. Uh, which one is it? Is it this one? I think this is the one, right? From Aldred Gar. There we go. So you've got that now. Enjoy. And uh, melee weapon. I just want to check this Narthesium is fully upgraded. It absolutely is, yes. I really do want to make sure, though. Can you imagine if there was an upgrade that I hadn't done? That'd be diabolical. So, okay, we've got a giant hammer. Uh, Iolanthus, his sword. Sword of Days. Five damage, a bit of extra crit chance. Is this the best thing you could have? Probably not, right? So he's got, uh, he's got parry and first strikes. That's some nice stuff, actually, the fact he's got both of that stuff. But we never really use all of that. That's just parry. Hang on, what did we collect before? Weeping Blade, Stoic's Blade, Sword of Days. Hang on, was it a Halberd or something? It was, Light Singer was what I was thinking of. So it's got first strike, can use it twice. Pretty good if we are dragging enemies into a fight, but I think stacking crit damage or something might be better. Um, also, he's a chaplain, so technically should be using something like this, shouldn't he? So we can do six damage per hit, does vulnerable, which will be useful if we're fighting a boss. Extra crit chance. Oh, the extra damage I can't do because we have no red seeds, so it'll only be five damage. But still, that's quite good. An extra crit chance is nice, and um, yeah, enemy suffering extra two damage from attacks. 50% chance for that to happen, but if we teleport in, he can do that plenty of times. So I think this might be what we do, especially if we can put it up for further turns. So I think we're actually going to use this for once. Which, I know, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, and yeah, we can, we can do that too. So yeah, affliction rate is quite good. It's a shame we can't do the extra damage, though. Six damage a hit would be not, you know, really nice. But an extra two damage per hit on the enemy is brilliant, you know? That, and now he's got this stupid weapon again. I still think these look dumb. Like, people have been telling me, it's supposed to look like an eagle. I know it's the Aquila, but, like, that's not a weapon. <laughs> it still looks silly. Like, to wield something like that. Like, it's still bizarre. Big, big metal bird. It's just, it's odd. Anyway. Uh, right. Let's have a look. I think we're all good, then. So the chaplain is going to be doing the surgery, weirdly. I think everyone else is good. I think we're sorted. I think this is this is our this is our squad. All right. Yep. It's decided. This is our squad. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and be sure to tune in tomorrow or in four hours. I don't really know. I don't know when this is going up. This is the last of the day, or the first, or the middle. I have no idea. But stay tuned for the next boss fight. See you then. Take care, guys.